the chaperone. In a dramatic departure from his previous movie, Inside Out, this time, Triple H plays an ex-con who used to be a wheelman and is almost drawn back into the seedy world. However, he would rather spend time with his daughter. The Chaperone could be a prequel to Inside Out. Or vice versa, frankly. They are that interchangeable and that alike. Triple H plays the same guy in both films. However, in The Chaperone, he doesn't have any pickles. No, no, no pickles for this guy. He's an educated man. He has read The Art of War. Yeah, he's read The Art of War and he quotes it. As if he'd finished the first film and went... I am the game, I need to show, I'm an intellectual, let's put in Art of War, I'll quote it. Could have happened, you don't know, you weren't there. So it's a straightforward storyline this time, and somehow still it gets convoluted. There's whole scenes that don't make sense. His daughter, who's probably 15, and has never shown any interest at all in any kind of motor vehicle, decides she can drive a coach. The chaperone is the lightest of cheese imaginable. I think Triple H just wanted to make a film that showed off his intellect as opposed to his muscles. And that's just what the chaperone does. There's even a sequence where his daughter's school is supposed to do a trip around the museum. The curator is sick. So Triple H decides that because he's read a couple of books about dinosaurs, he knows enough to educate a class. I worry for the American education system if this is what passes for acceptable. In case you're wondering, but how do I access this film? Who am I as an audience member? Every single archetype imaginable is in her friend circle or on the class trip with her. And in the end, in true Disney fashion, the whole class have to team up to help out Triple H and free him from the bad guys. They all add something, little quirky bits here and there. There's even a Paris Hilton lookalike who goes, a 15 year old goes to get lip filler. As usual in WWE films, a whole list of characters are introduced completely irrelevant and written out instantly. They are not needed. People are on this payroll unjustifiably. And worst of all, this is brought to us by Stephen Herrick, who's the director of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Stephen, what happened to you, man? You directed a film that was most awesome. The Chaperone is anything but this. On an entirely different note, Triple H's ex-wife seems to show no interest in him at all for the entire film and is obviously content with her new boyfriend. Very close to the end, Marvin, the boyfriend, decides he's going to propose to her. She leaves because their daughter is in danger. Perfectly fine, quite justifiable. Then at the end of the film, Triple H is going on a date with her. What happened to the boyfriend? What did he ever do? Nothing. Completely unjustified. This is why divorce is so high in America. Maybe in his next film, Triple H will play anything except for an ex-con, like a buddy of a vampire. That'd be different, surely. What could possibly go wrong there? I wonder if Ryan Reynolds could be included in the feature. That'd be a great recipe for success, I'm sure. Time to play the game. Time to play the game! <laughs> It's all about the game, and how you play it all 